in all reality, the soil was always unbalanced. It's, it's called parent material. It's called Earth's mantle. So unless you <laughs> plan on farming to Earth's uh, center, you are going to have an unbalanced soil because it's dissolution of parent material. All that that means is that as you experience chemical and physical weathering of your soil, those dominant primary cations like calcium and magnesium in these high clay soils are always going to be overabundant irregardless of management because you are always going to have chemical and physical weathering. So as long as you plan on rainwater touching that soil, it doesn't matter how much you try to balance that soil and force it to a certain level. It's not sustainable. It's not consistent. It's not repeatable. And the sheer tons of synthetic fertilizer required to even attempt to do that is so disgustingly inexpensive and has got so many negative downsides to it beyond economics, but also agronomics, that there's no world where it makes sense for any farmer to sit here this fall and go, how should I spend my money this fall to balance my soil before I decide how I'm going to improve my yield, right? That is the most ridiculous thing anybody could honestly recommend to a farmer. 